Let's be real, you probably have a favorite internet celebrity, somebody whose content you watch on a regular basis and you consider yourself a fan of. If you've been watching them for long enough, then you might even consider them a friend. If that's the case, then you're in for a cold dose of reality. Content creators on the internet are not your friend. The relationships between you and them only go in one direction. This is called a parasocial relationship. The Twitch streamer and content creator Ludwig Agron recently uploaded a YouTube video to make it clear that the relationship between him and his viewers is in fact parasocial. How could we not get attached to someone like you? Just treat it like you would treat the TV show Mad Men. You shouldn't form a relationship with me. At the end of the day, I'm entertainment. If I stop entertaining, you stop watching. That's it. That's what I want from you guys, because I'm not your friend. I will never, ever hang out with you, and I don't care about you because I don't know you. I can't. There are 13,000 people here. I can't care about all of you because I don't know any of you. So did the countless hours that you spent watching your favorite content creator mean nothing to them? The Twitch streamer Asmongold seems to think otherwise. I think a differentiation here that you could maybe use for me is that I try to look at people instead of, instead of fans, I look at them as viewers, right? Because it doesn't necessarily imply the same type of worship as a, as a fan does. You know, fan is obviously uh, short for fanatics. So I, I don't like that. I, I treat all of my viewers and just people that are watching my stream as just like guys that I would probably maybe hang out with or, or not. And if certain people I feel are being uh, too attached in a way that I feel is unhealthy, and you know, in terms of like, I guess what you would call a our social relationship, that's uh, definitely not something that I want to promote. Asmongold's point of view is certainly much different than Ludwig's point of view. So the real question is, who's right? Does the time you spend watching these content creators really mean nothing to them? Or are you developing long-term relationships that may eventually blend into real life? The truth of the matter is, it totally depends on the individual streaming and the individual watching. Both parties are responsible for whether or not their relationship is parasocial. If the streamer goes out of their way to interact with their viewers as much as possible, which is certainly more likely among smaller streamers, then they may very well be building two-way relationships that would not be parasocial. The same goes for the viewer. If the viewer sees the content creator as an entertainer and nothing more than that, similar to what Ludwig was saying, then their relationship will not be parasocial. Their relationship will only become parasocial if the viewer gets too attached to the streamer and starts to view him as more than just an entertainer. It'll become parasocial when the viewer starts to view the streamer as a friend. As sad as it might be, the chances are you'll never hang out with your favorite content creator and you'll never be able to truly call them a friend. Now this doesn't go for all streamers. In fact, there are some small streamers out there who are looking for your viewership and are looking to make relationships with you. But as far as big streamers go, you'll probably never be able to call them a friend. In fact, you won't. And in the wise words of Ludwig, uh, Make sure at the end of the day that you're just watching to watch. You know, for fun, for a laugh, to escape reality for a moment. But then you go right back into it, all right? And you need to work on your life. This has been Tizzle Talks. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ludwig Agrin, Ludwig Agrin, Ludwig Agrin, Ludwig Agrin, Ludwig Agrin, Ludwig Agrin, Ludwig Agrin.